Robin Higgins, and this is how to convert from mass to mole. All right, so to convert from mass to mole, we're going to need to find our molar mass. So let's suppose we have 50 grams of H2O. We're going to need to find the molar mass of water. So first, we look up the atomic mass of every atom involved in water. In this case, just hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen has a molar mass of about one grams per mole. These numbers can be looked up by using the periodic table. Oxygen has a molar mass of about 16 grams per mole. So now to get our molar mass of water, we need to have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So our math will look like one times two, that's how many hydrogens we have, plus 16 times one, and that equals 18 grams per mole. Now this is our molar mass of water. Now we have a number in the units of gram and a number in the units of gram per mole. So to convert to moles, we just need to do some kind of operation with these two numbers. So if we have 50 grams here, we need to somehow get our moles to be on the numerator and our grams to be on the denominator to cancel out these grams. Well, if we multiply by the reciprocal of 18, so now we have one on top and 18 here, uh, if we do this, our units will also flip. So now moles on here and grams under here. Now this will let us perfectly cancel out grams and our answer is going to be in moles. Now, if we divide 50 by 18, we're going to get 2.8 moles. So that's how we convert. If we have 50 grams of water, we're going to have 2.8 moles of water. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to convert from mass to moles.